this Madden 22 video, I'm going to be breaking down how match coverage and how I like to run it, in particularly against a three wide receiver set or when your opponent motions from a two wide receiver set or twin set into a trip slip. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below if you want to get better at Madden. We upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Also, if you're new to the channel and you're really looking to take your game to the next level, consider joining my Patreon membership. My Patreon membership is only $10 a month. And what we do over there is we release a ton of content, ebooks, uh, updates to those ebooks, and uh, pro player film rooms, and all of that fun stuff. So if you really want to take your game seriously, I would really encourage you to consider joining the Patreon. It's only $10 a month. Like I said, we've got over uh, 20 offensive and defensive ebooks that you'll get immediate access to. And the other thing that we will also get immediate access to is all of the updates uh, that we've released for those offensive and defensive ebooks. Uh, the other cool part about it is as long as your membership is active, you'll be able to continue to get access to any new ebooks or new updates that we release, again, while your membership is active. So today we're talking about trips and we're talking about defending uh, three wide receiver sets. We're going to be talking about match coverage, my favorite coverage in the game right now, which is the cover four, show two out of the nickel, three, three, five wide. I've been, uh, I did a major, major, major update uh, to this defense in our Patreon membership. I'm actually going to be doing more videos on that in the subsequent future because I think it's really that important uh, and to understand how the defense works. And basically, what I kind of explain about it is what we've done is we've taken quarters coverage, we've taken man coverage, and we've kind of combined them together to create really powerful defense and that is the nickel 335 wide cup four show two so i uh, wanted to walk you through today how the defense works and particularly against a trips set like a wide trips formation or whenever they motion from a double set into a trip set how the defense is going to shift or change in those situations so let's jump into the video okay guys so what you want to do is put the cover four show two in your audibles i like to go ahead and come out and do your five normal adjustments perspective, I can basically relatively easily uh, adjust in this situation with this defense. And on offense, we're going to kind of, um, I'm going to kind of explain this. We're going to come out in the, we're going to come out in this Y off trio, but I'm actually going to show, um, I'm actually going to show uh, something else real quick. So uh, again, I'm just going to set a couple of audibles here. Uh, we've got the Hot Rod Master, of course, so we don't really need a ton of rounds. I'm going to come back over into a doubles or a spread set and illustrate a scenario that definitely can happen, especially if you're playing a really good player. So let's say that you're playing a really good player in spread, and what they do is they take this guy and they motion him to the left side of the screen. What that has now done is it has created a three wide receiver set to the left and a solo receiver here and a back in the backfield. Okay, so if they motion from right to left, that is creating what is considered a trips quote unquote look you'll see the same thing is true if i motion this guy this creates kind of a tray y flex type of type of look if you take a look at this and then most importantly though i did want to kind of hit on this we're going to talk about this in a future video on the channel so if you want to see this just make sure you're subscribed with the notifications on but if i motion scotty miller to the right what this does is it doesn't only create a trips look to the right but now we have a a three wide receiver look to the right and we have a running back in the backfield and this is created quad set. Now match coverage really doesn't work well against quad set. It actually kind of turns off the match, which is one of the most broken things in my opinion about this coverage. However, there are easy checks that we can do with our audible system, easy checks we can do with our coverage system, which I'll break down in a future video that kind of help you understand how to defend this. So like I said, we're going to start with our trips set here. And most people that run trips, uh, with three wide receivers to one side, they're going to do that, and their trips are going to be running to the field, giving the most amount of space possible to be able to be the deep, break the defense down. Now, what you're going to notice really uh, quickly here is obviously I'm going to be audibling into the cover four show too. And a big key element of this is basically what you're getting is it all kind of changes when that number two receiver from the left side, which is going to be Gronkowski in this example. So and over here, this is quarters. And we talked about this in a previous video earlier today. So um, if, you, if you want to check that out, again, just head over to the channel. we got a ton of content on this. This is true quarters. And when this guy comes over here, all of a sudden it changes. And the number system changes. Again, the, 
basic principle of sports coverage is we want our clever players covering cover player or uh, their receivers, and we want our backers covering the backs. We want our back four relating to their top four receiving threats, which would be their three receivers and of course their tight end. So when they move this guy over here, if I were to run three verticals, and then let's say I take this backside guy and run him on a smoke, this is just to understand the routes. And I did something like this. I want you to see how this is going to defend. And you'll notice here that it actually defends it really, really well. All that essentially happens in a nutshell here is that if the number, if all three receivers go vertically, then basically this guy is going to uh, poach and be responsible for the number three. You see how the number three receiver hook, which is the, uh, which is the linebacker in this position, you see how he basically kind of gets in the way to kind of give us time for the safety to come over the top and poach this receiver. This, uh, this quarter flat is still responsible for the flat, right? And that's gonna, we're going to come back to that in just a second, but you're going to see he's just going to play the flat. So very well. Do the same thing over here. He's going to play the flat. Now notice the running back goes vertical. And this is one thing that quarter flats are helpful for in a situation like this because notice what happens over here on the back side. Essentially, the check that you're getting in quarters coverage is what's called a solo check. What that basically means is that number 21 is going to cover this guy regardless of if he sits in the no cover zone, which we talked about previously, that in quarters coverage, traditionally, there's a no cover zone, at least in the general basic philosophy of, of zero to about seven to eight yards, potentially as far as 10 yards, but again, typically it's seven yards and underneath, especially in that. So you see that this guy is not doing that. He's not following the principle. He's actually basically man coverage on this player. And then most importantly here, look at this. This defender now becomes uh, not worried about the smoke screen. And he is essentially playing man coverage on the running back. This will also be the basic check that you're gonna get if you're fitting a bunch, for example, which we're gonna be talking about a lot more um, in a future video on this defense. So that's kind of the overarching big picture 30,000 view of the, the basic fundamentals of this defense. Where this becomes problematic is if you get into a situation where, let's say they take the tight end and they put him in a smart run corner route, and they take the outside receiver here, Scotty Miller, and they put him on a flat, uh, something like this, which you should see here. You should see that that safety covers him, but unfortunately, kind of breaks that down. You see that we get in a situation that is really not going to I'll show it to you in a little bit of a different nuance way. But basically, we flood this side. It's supposed to be used as a route right here to the right. Oftentimes, that helps kind of glitch this coverage. You see, the tight end corner route gets wide open. So let's take a second here. Actually, I think we can look over here for the auto one more time. See here, I can kind of flex the tight end out a little bit too. That'll help us a little bit. But anyway, now you see you get a true, you know, three receiver. And notice that really the three receiver hook, which is in this situation going to be your user, is tend to be the responsible party for the situation I just talked about, where if this guy runs up and out, now watch what happens. And this is interesting. It's not actually a breakdown. In the, it kind of is a breakdown in the coverage because really what you should get is this guy should wall him and then this guy should take him, but he doesn't. Notice that he actually breaks back over the middle of the field and really covers you know, essentially nobody, and the tight end out leverages this all the way across the formation. So therein lies the number one issue with this, and I'm going to show you kind of a secondary issue uh, with this coverage, and that is a traditional kind of trips setup. Anyone that runs trips probably knows about this setup, or they should, and that is to cross her this guy, Kukowski, put Scotty Miller on a flat, Guy does guard him, but you see right here, he gets beat across his face, and it's kind of a standard thing that happens with a lot of match coverage. So, what about if they were to run a corner to the number two receiver in the troops, a flat to Gronkowski, kind of like a Z spot type setup for much? Let me take a let me take a let me show you what happens. This, so this is basically a Z spot for a bunch, it's just the difference is 
spread out in the trip as opposed to being compressed. What you're going to notice is he gets jammed, get that nice reroute, and then look at that safety drive on the route and play this very, very well. It's not like Bunch in the sense that you're going to have a box check, but it is like Bunch in the sense that it does a decent job over the number in the system. If we think about the numbering system for just a second, it does a decent job defending number one, and it does a decent job defending number two. However, number three caused significant problems in this coverage. He got the, the, the coverage over the post. He's very effective. Notice that again, the safety doesn't really do anything to help our defense. Another thing I wanted to quickly point out is this backside post to Mike Evans here. Three wide receiver set. We all know Bunch trails a bunch. A very popular check. Let's take a look at how this works against something like that. So let's say you have kind of a flood, and on the backside, you have this little post concept, maybe a post wheel, if you will. And what you'll see here is a kind of an interesting thing. So you'll see that the one thing that is very beneficial about that quarter on the left is that it does a decent job at defending the skinny post. So again, I'm gonna kind of force feed it here. So obviously it shouldn't be complete, but I am gonna try to kind of force feed it to the post. And I want you to watch what happens. So you'll see here, you get that nice double team. And that's a pretty decent way or a pretty decent start to covering that play. Now, last little concept that is very popular from any kind of tray, uh, not tray, but trip set, um, would be this uh, this wheel here for the running back. So if I have an out on the left and a wheel, I want you to take a look here. You're going to see that this guy's in man coverage. So it's, it's open, but it's not open, right? It, it, it's kind of open, but it's kind of not. We're going to come back to that right about now. So. In my previous video, I talked about, again, the general basic principle of match coverage is that we want cover players to guard cover players and we want backers to guard backs. Well, if you think that principle out, especially in the context of how it applies to a Y trips or a trips or trio week type of set, what we find is that there's a lot of very, um, there's a lot of very key things. And the first one is that this tight end or the number three receiver is uh, in this scenario, uh, if it's Y trips, if it's U trips, if it's YF trio, and most trips type sets, as opposed to like tray open, even tray open, but like gun tray open or gun trips or trips tight end, it's a little bit different. We're going to talk about those in a future video. But in this scenario, it's the tight end, okay? So you have a little bit of a decision to make. And really, what it comes down to, in my opinion, is you definitely want to man up this tight end. And the reason why is because again i think it significantly will help you because you're going to get a really nice close coverage on him that is going to take him to the corner another scenario that you could do especially against this formation like this where the tight end might not be their primary target maybe it's the slot of the line on the right is you could do something like man up or x out quote unquote x out man up this slot right here and now what that does is again it, when you work whenever you man someone up in quarters it changes the numbers game okay it changes the numbers game and we're going to show you that right here so what you're going to see now is that outside safety is available to help and that three rep defends that corner significantly better than he just did okay so that's one option um, and that way your slot corner is always in man-to-man -man coverage which i would argue is not a bad strategy because of the fact that the slot corner on my defense has one step ahead and all those abilities. Another situation or another scenario that you could also kind of consider is to man that slot corner up on the number three and the reason why he is in a sense out leveraged quote unquote but you have to remember it's a slot corner with 99 speed or a in regs uh, you know a significant speed discrepancy. 99 speed corner or in mud it's gonna be a 97 96 speed you have a speed advantage and he's going to drive on certain routes so for example um let's show you that same corner route and what you'll see is a slot corner he's going to take him up and out and as you can see he plays that fairly well now let's talk about another situation real quick and that's the crossing route and we'll get into kind of the final form of this coverage and how we've adapted to this uh, situation so again curl flat both of the linebackers why do we curl flat linebackers especially in quarters because in boxing ones the underneath right we're going to put that that 10 yard depth that no cover zone we're going to try to kind of help that with these two zones here that are going to take everything 
everything underneath, and then you're going to be, you want, the other thing is, again, it funnels everything back into that deep cross or window, or deep corner window, and really if we can take with a corner window, especially in trips, we're going to be really effective because we're only going to have to use her for the crossing. Okay? So, again, we're going to man up our slot on the tight end, and now what I want to show you is kind of, a, again, a little bit more of a traditional trips. Uh, something like this. So notice the middle linebacker pops out on him. Um, but also notice the slot corner is really not super misaligned at this point. So if I were to run my crosser, I should take a look at how this defends. You see here he immediately drives on the route and his speed makes up for the difference in the space. Okay. So that's actually my preferred way to defend trips. And I think uh, the reason why I like that is because again, I want my best players doing what they do best. And what I, I, in, in my particular defense, especially a way we run it with this, it puts us in a really, really good position uh, to be able to defend something like this trips type set uh, really well. So what you're going to see now is talk about a little bit about the final form. And really the final form is um, basically this. What I like to do is we already know that this guy is going to be locked up on man coverage. I'm going to go ahead and just man him up on him because now he's going to play it with his deep route KO abilities, his one step, all of his abilities are going to be helping him in this coverage. And it communicates to the rest of the defense because, again, in quarters, any adjustment you make, it, the defense adapts. Okay, That's why I like it so much. So anyway, I got him in man coverage. Then I've got my two linebackers, and we're going to put both of them in purple. Now you might think, well, why would you do that? Because you got to worry a little bit about the running back wheel. And you're not wrong to say that. But this is where I really love my um, little three rec hook trick. Anytime that the running back and the tight end are on opposite sides of the formation, what you can simply do is pinch your defensive line or spread your defensive line or shift them to the left and then put that defensive end on the running back side in a bluff blitz assignment and he will guard the running back man to man. Again, cover guys guard cover guys, linebackers and backers and safeties guard tight ends and running backs. And then lastly, I like to go ahead and man the slot up on the number three receiver. And I feel like this is the best way to run this coverage. And what you're gonna see. everything that they do let me show you a concept that is very popular especially if you want to bomb coverage and that is this little PA wide receiver in with a slam on the backside um, basically something like this and again the other thing about the number three receiver really 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 briefly here the other thing about the number three receiver that I think is interesting is a lot of times in a wide trips type of offense they're going to block him because the tight end is really the primary person for pressure. I want you to watch. Um, I want you to watch on this concept here what you're going to notice from the slot because he's manned up on the tight end, but the tight end is then indeed blocking. Now, of course, in this scenario, again, we don't have to be super, super concerned with the underneath stuff. We have a three red. We have two purples, right? Uh, we have main coverage, but in this scenario. Just show you. So watch that slot corner. See what he does? He now goes and guards the number two man-to-man, -man, and it helps the quarter coverage now defend number one significantly better in the formation. Coverage is one of the uh, quarters is the smartest coverage in Madden 22, at least in my opinion. And the reason why is because it's able to adapt based on formations, based on route combinations, based on who actually runs a route versus who blocks. And it's also when you start to really unpack it and unfold it, in these formations, it does change and it does adapt. And if you understand how it adapts, it makes it significantly more fun to play and honestly, it makes it significantly more effective. Let me give you one last little piece of advice. Let's say, for example, that, and, and this is another thing that I love to do out of quarters coverage, is I love to man align. And you might ask, why would you man align? Well, the reason I would man align is because what you're gonna notice here is if I send that slot corner or that slot receiver in motion is going to change the principle of the coverage. And we're going to
going to now be playing quarters, quote unquote, uh, over two by two. So let's say I motion, um, and let's say I motion middle. What I like to do in that situation, I guess I can't motion them all the way across. I'm going to motion Johnson across here. So here we go. Here comes F. I guess I can't motion him either. But let's say they send somebody in motion. Slot corner is not going to travel. So now what I can do is I'm back and defending basically two by two spread. So a real simple solution. Let's say I've made these adjustments. Okay, very simple. All we're going to do is re outside quarter the outside guy. And we're going to man the slot up. We can leave him cross man if we want to cross man, or we can man him up there. Or if we want to, you can always man him up on the running back, which I think is very advantageous. But anyways, now you see here we're in this concept is basically back into our two by two defense and they can't throw slants and they can't throw curl routes and they can't throw 10 yard smart routed in routes and all of the things that they're going to try to throw underneath to open up their deep stuff because we box in one one key player and in this situation it was the tight end i want to thank you for watching the video i know this was a little bit longer so thank you for staying all the way through if you enjoyed the video i would ask you to consider joining our patreon it's only ten dollars a month and if you liked how in depth we got with this concept you're gonna love our patreon membership because we do that uh, pretty much every single week uh, we release updates we release different tweaks and, and shifts and little principles and change and tweak it we also have 20 offensive and defensive ebooks we have a full match coverage defensive ebook we talk about cover three match cover four palms what every single match coverage does. Uh, we have a ton of material over there. So if you want to get better at Madden, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. Like I said, it's only $10 a month. You get access to everything, all the updates, all the ebooks, everything for just $10. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Until the next time, guys, thanks for watching. We'll be back here tomorrow with another YouTube video. Also, if you haven't followed my Twitch channel, there's a link in the description if you want to watch me play Madden live. And I got a Discord in case you have questions. You can always hit me up in Discord. It's kind of going to be hopefully our hub for our little community that we're building here on YouTube, Twitch, and Discord. I'm really excited uh, for what's to come here. So, again, if you always want to join our Patreon membership and uh, really get in depth with Madden.